This is the 2017 Honda Clarity fuel cell. It's the follow-up to Honda's FCX Clarity. And like that vehicle, this runs silently on hydrogen gas. The only tailpipe emission is dihydrogen oxide. No panic, people, it's H2O, literally pure water. Honda's been working to advance the technology and its efficiency, giving the Clarity more range than ever before and better creature comforts. The automaker says that this will be the vehicle that finally makes hydrogen driving accessible to regular people like you and me. Let's put that claim to the test, but first let's take a closer look and see exactly how it works. Now the EPA reckons that the Clarity's hydrogen tanks will take you about 366 miles before you need to fill up again. Honda likes to point out that that's about 40 miles more than the primary competitor to this vehicle, the new Toyota Mirai. The Clarity also has the advantage of being what seems like a significantly larger vehicle. It's got more space for people and things. This is also a five-seater where the Mirai is only a four-seater. However, for now, the Mirai does seem to have the price advantage. It's expected to come in a couple thousand dollars less expensive than this, what we think is going to be a $60,000 car. Toyota has also stated that it'll be subsidizing the operating cost of the Mirai, giving away free hydrogen for the first three years. Now, Honda hasn't explicitly stated that they're gonna do the same, but they did tell me that they're gonna be competitive with a wink and a nudge. So I'm thinking we're gonna hear something about that soon. On the road, the Clarity is, well, a little bit unremarkable, but that's partially by design and partially because, well, I've driven a lot of electric cars and this is basically an electric car with a different, let's say, battery technology stored in the energy. Now, if you haven't driven an electric car, the first thing you'll notice is how quiet this is. It's significantly quieter than any gasoline or hybrid vehicle that I've ever driven. It's a little louder than an electric car because you've got pumps that are sending hydrogen to the front and air intakes and things like that, but it is still remarkably quiet. The other thing that you'll notice is the immediacy and linearity of the electric powertrain. Now electric cars do rely heavily on their torque and do tend to feel like they're giving you more than they say they are, and this does feel like a little bit more than the stated 221 pound-feet. Now around the cabin, we've got a lot of standard fare Honda stuff with a little bit of an eco sheen to it. Uh, down here, we've got the uh, push button shifter that's similar to the one that we saw in the Honda Pilot. And just above it, we've got a sport button. When you push that, it doesn't transform the Clarity into a sports car, but what it does is sharpen up your throttle response and boost the regenerative braking when you lift to sort of simulate uh, the engine braking you get with a gasoline car. It also means that the electric turbocharger shoving air into that fuel cell comes on a little bit earlier and if you really step on it, you can kind of hear it whooshing around up there. You may not hear it, but I've been having a lot of fun with it this week. And just above it, we've got the Honda infotainment system that's similar to the one we saw in the Honda Civic and the HRV. Except for at eight inches large, this is probably the biggest unit that Honda makes. And it's looking more and more like a tablet every time we see it. Behind it, we've got a uh, recycled micro suede dashboard that's made out of uh, plastics that have been reclaimed. And over here in front of me, we've got the full digital instrument cluster. In the middle, there is a digital speedometer and a power meter. On the right, there's your hydrogen fuel tank gauge. And on the left, there is a battery meter. But like any other non-plug-in hybrid vehicle, you can't really do anything about that, but watch it go up when you brake and go down when you're stopping through traffic. It's kind of just there for your information. Here's a good place to mention that the Clarity fuel cell does not have any options. Everything we're talking about here is a standard feature. The only choice that you really get to make is what color it's going to be, and even then it's just white, red, or black. But that means that all of the driver aid features we're about to talk about are standard. They don't come in an options package, or they don't cost extra or anything else like that. That means things like Honda's Lane Watch camera, which will show a view into the blind spot on the right side of the car when that turn signal is activated or you push a button on the steering wheel stalk. 
We've also got Honda's adaptive cruise control system, which will maintain a safe driving distance uh, behind the car in front of you uh, at highway speeds. It also works in stop and go traffic. So when you're in a traffic jam, it'll hold a safe distance. So you don't have to keep going gas brake, gas brake and gridlock. We also have Honda's lane departure prevention system, which will add a little bit of steering input to keep you from drifting out of your lane. That's also very helpful. Now, as far as being the vehicle to bring hydrogen to regular people like you and me, I think the Clarity does sort of succeed. From the driver's seat, it feels like a regular car, like any other hybrid or gasoline car that I've ever driven, except for that it's quiet and green like an electric car. And if you live close enough to a filling station, the sort of filling up and driving around of this car is not gonna require very much change to your daily routine. But then there's the issue of, is there a filling station near you? Filling your Clarity is not much different from filling a gasoline car, except there's a high pressure hookup to accept the hydrogen under the flap there. It takes about five minutes to put five kilograms of hydrogen into the two tanks, one behind the back seat and one underneath. The fuel then comes to the fuel cell stack here under the hood, which is smaller than before and integrated with the electric powertrain. The whole kit is a little bit smaller than the Accord's V6. The electric power is then sent to the front wheels. It gets about 174 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. The last piece of the puzzle is a lithium-ion battery pack that sort of acts as a buffer for the regenerative braking and the hydrogen system when you're idling. In hydrogen's favor, the automaker is working with the federal government to establish a network of hydrogen filling stations on the East Coast to expand the Clarity's reach. But on the other hand, even Honda's hedging its bets. The Clarity fuel cell is just the first of three Clarity vehicles. It'll be joined next year by a battery electric version and a plug-in gasoline electric hybrid.